Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academic Coordinates. In this video, we're tackling analytical geometry specifically for grade 10s. But even if you're doing grade 11 or grade 12, grab that pen and paper and let's do this together. Okay, guys, today we're going to learn firstly how to find a midpoint in a particular line. Secondly, we're going to appreciate different properties that are housed in a Cartesian plane as far as lines are concerned. Okay, guys, let's say, for example, they ask you to find the coordinates of the midpoint between negative 3 and 3. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we know that from negative 3 to the origin and from um, the origin to 3, it's an equidistant length, right? So, the coordinates of the midpoint will be 0 and 0, right? Right there at the origin. But now, what happens when we've got lines like this, for example? You know what I'm saying? We cannot just say um, it's going to be somewhere here and start to guess that, you know what, I think that's like, you know, one and one. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to teach you guys how to find a midpoint, right, in a particular line, given the coordinates of um, two points, given maybe coordinates of A and coordinates of B. All right. So firstly, in this video, we're going to... Our focus is to find a midpoint in a particular line. So, a midpoint in a line has got a specific formula, right? So, um, x equals to x1 plus x2 divide by 2, right? And then, y will equals to y1 plus y2 divide by 2. Right, so the coordinates of the midpoint x, y will be this, right? So this is our formula x1 plus x2 divide by 2 and y1 plus y2 divide by 2. You know what I'm saying? So if you are given, let's say, two points, right? Um, you are given maybe two points, you are given point A, and then you are given point B, you know what I'm saying? And then you are asked to find, right, um, the midpoint coordinates, right, between these two points in a particular line. This is the formula, guys, that you're going to use. So I just want us to, you know, do an example a bit so that we can actually, you know, appreciate this, um, um, this formula. Let's say, for example, in a Cartesian plane, you know, that's not the straightest line you have seen in your life. So this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, then obviously there it's like a zero. Let's say we have got a line that moves like this. And then the coordinate of this point is, um, I don't know, um, negative, sorry, positive 4 and um, negative 1, for example. You know what I'm saying? And then the coordinates of this point let's say it's um negative two and one you know and let's call this point a and call this point b and then they ask you guys you know to find the midpoint between a and b right so the midpoint right here gonna denote it by m will equals to this you know so we have got two coordinates coordinates of a is um negative two and one the coordinate of b is four and negative one you know what i'm saying so um we can call this um x1 and y1 or we can call this um x1 and y1 right um whichever way um will assist you guys you know to be calm and everything like that so um whichever x1 or x2 um it's, got, it's actually gonna give you guys the same answer you know what i'm saying um okay let's call this um x1 and y1 you know and this x2 and y2 right um you know what i'm saying let's say um a is x1 and, and y1 and b is um x2 and y2 so now we, we must insert this in the formula and actually find the midpoint between the two points okay um x1 is negative 2 plus x2 is 4 divided by 2, right? Okay, and then um, what about the y coordinate of the midpoint? Um, it's going to be 1, this one is y1, plus y2, what's y2? y2 is negative 1, negative 1 divided by 2. Okay, guys, you know, so m 
is um, okay negative 2 plus 4 that's gonna be 2 divided by 2 um, then the y coordinate will be negative 1 plus negative plus minus 1 is going to be a 0 divided by 2. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, um, the midpoint right here will be at um, 1 and 0, you know. So, what this means is that in this line here, you know what I'm saying, the midpoint will be at um, 1, 1 is somewhere here, and then n 0. So, the midpoint will be somewhere here. You know what I'm saying? The midpoint will actually be here, um, if here is 1, this will be our midpoint. But now, remember that we are not looking for maybe a distance, right? But we're looking for specific coordinates. You know what I'm saying? So, those coordinates will be this um, right here. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Secondly, now we're going to, you know, learn about properties. Properties of lines, right? And right here, um, we're going to learn about two things. Firstly, when lines are parallel, right? What I mean by parallel lines, let's say, um, okay, this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis right here. Then we've got a line like this um, and a line like this. These lines, guys, are parallel. You know what I'm saying? Um, however... Um, the lines we're gonna consider are, are lines that are um, are not particularly horizontal, um, but it it will be lines that are slanted. For example, lines like these. You know what I'm saying? Um, when lines are parallel, right? They have the same gradient. Parallel lines have the same gradient. Okay, so let's say this is line 1 and this is line 2, alright? So the gradient of line 1 equals to the gradient of line 2, right? So whenever you see parallel lines, they have the same gradient. You know what I'm saying? And also, this this okay, this okay can also apply, you know, in, 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 in lines like this. Um, we have learned, you know, um, in the previous videos that we have covered in this section that um, horizontal lines have got a zero gradient, right? Even if a line is um, um, y is equals to 1 or y is equals to 2, you know, let's say y is equals to 1 right here, y is equals to negative 2 right here. Um, if a line is horizontal, its gradient is zero, right? So um, parallel horizontal lines have got a zero gradient. And also... Um, now that I've mentioned the horizontal lines, um, we have spoken in the previous video, guys, that if lines are vertical, okay, let's say this is the y-axis, this is line 3, and then we've got another line here, um, line 4. These lines, line 3 and, I mean, line 3 and line 4 are parallel. You know, what that means is that their gradient is the same. However, we have learned, you know, for vertical lines, um, that vertical lines, vertical lines have undefined gradients. You know what I'm saying? However, all vertical lines have got an undefined gradient and all horizontal lines have um, a gradient of zero. You know, um, if you want to learn more about that, you know what I'm saying, you, you're going to... I'm going to put a video where you guys can learn more about um, horizontal lines and vertical lines. However, let's let's carry on. But w whenever there are parallel lines or they tell you guys, you know, that we are dealing with parallel lines, the first thing that, that must come to your mind is that the gradient of those lines is equal. You know what I'm saying? If the other one's gradient is 10, the other one's gradient must also be 10. You know what I'm saying? Um... Okay, guys. Secondly, I want us to um, consider perpendicular perpendicular lines, right? When lines are perpendicular, they inter they, they they intersect at an angle that is ninety degrees. You know, um, let's say for example. Okay, the y-axis and this and the 
the y-axis and the x-axis are an example of perpendicular lines. However, in this case, the rule that um, governs perpendicular lines does not apply, you know, to vertical lines and horizontal lines because of vertical lines have an undefined gradient and these lines have got a gradient of zero, right? However, if lines are slanted, what, the, what I mean by that is, let me just grab another color. Let's say we've got a line like this, right? And then we've got another line like this, right? And then here it's 90 degrees. Let's say this is line, I don't know, five. This is line six, for example, right? For these lines, right? Um, the, their gradient, the product of their gradient, let's say line, the gradient of line L5, multiplied by the gradient of line L6 equals to negative 1. You know what I'm saying? This is actually the rule for perpendicular lines. If two lines are perpendicular, their gradient, say M1 multiplied by um, M2 equals to negative 1. So this is the rule, guys. Whenever they tell you that these two lines are perpendicular to each other, firstly, that means that those lines um, make an intersection um, where this angle is 90 degrees. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys. Um, this is These are basically, you know, um, fundamental properties that we see in different lines. You know what I'm saying? When lines are parallel, they have got the same gradient. And when lines are perpendicular, the product of their gradient equals to negative 1. What the product means is that when you multiply their gradient, you will get negative 1. Let me make an example. Let's say you've got a, a line y is equals to um, 4x plus, I don't know, um, 2, for example, right? Um, okay, let's say plus 3. You know, then there's, good, there's another line y is equals to negative 1 divided by 4x, um, I don't know, minus 2. You know what I'm saying? Okay, these two lines, I, I'm just making them up right now. These two lines, they are gradient. We've got the other gradient is 4, right? The coefficient of x, the other gradient is um, 1 divided by 4, right? This will equal to um 4 divided by 4 and negative there this it will equals to a negative one so these two lines the product of their gradient equals to negative one hence this line and this line are perpendicular okay guys thank you so much for watching if you're uncertain about anything please let us know you know what i'm saying however what you must take home right here is that you can be able to find a midpoint in a particular line given two points in that line you know what i'm saying it's actually the midpoint between those two particular points um in the line not necessarily the midpoint um of a of a line you know what i'm saying but you are given two coordinates in a line and then you're finding the midpoint between them right um for example, a like given coordinates of A and coordinates of B, and then you're finding the midpoint between these coordinates. Okay, and also, if lines are parallel, um, that includes both vertical and horizontal lines, um, if two lines are parallel, you know what I'm saying, they've got the same gradient, you know what I'm saying. Um, um, the horizontal lines, their gradient equals to zero. Vertical lines have got an undefined gradient. So if two lines are parallel, they've got the same gradient. However, if lines are perpendicular, all right, the product of their gradient, or if I take the, the gradient of the other line, multiply by the gradient of the other line, I'm going to get a negative one. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. If you're uncertain about anything, let us know in the comments below or email us. Um, enjoy your day. You know what I'm saying? Do stay blessed.